Um, I just want to show you um, my cabbages. Um, well, actually, I've picked one already, so there's only one more left. Um, I got these two. I went to a Grow Your Own show, uh, Lowesley Park, I think it was, um, and there were some um, people there selling strawberry plants and all sorts of other bits and pieces. And they had um, some uh, greens that they'd grown on their window sills in their offices and she said to me you know take some and just you know give us a donation um, she said because I don't know if they'll survive anyway I've got two cabbage plants they look very good to me and they've come up beautifully um, I've also sown some from seed which aren't quite ready yet but um, I'll just show you uh, how how you can tell when your cabbages are ready okay so make sure that when you grow cabbages you have some form of netting over them otherwise the birds will have an absolute feast um, so I'll just move this netting it does make weeding a little on the tricky side but it saves your cabbages so I'll just move it up a bit and then you can tell when your cabbages are ready because they're very firm inside we've already had one and it was absolutely lovely well I think it was anyway and um, it has been nibbled just a little bit but this is just the outside leaves so don't worry about that so we'll just you can either chop it off there or just pull it up they're quite easy to pull up anyway so just pull it up give it a bit of a shake off and then I'll show you it's a little bit more close up. Well, here it is. I'll chop the bottom off um, in a minute, but there's no point showing you how to do that because you just get your secateurs or a very sharp knife, but do be careful of your fingers. Um, and just chop it off and stick this bit in the uh, compost heap. But when you come to cook it, obviously there are various ways that you can do it, um, but just peel off the outside leaves and then um, just use the inside. Now, the way I do it, because I I just have memories, not that my mum cooked it this way because she cooked cabbage beautifully because it still has to be crisp and she does it wonderfully but I remember going to a friend's house and her mum cooked red cabbage and oh my god she cooked the entire life out of this stuff it was soggy and just gross um, cabbage, oh look there's some snails in there I'll soon get rid of those um, cabbage should be crunchy um, and the way I cook it is I slice it up nice and thin um, put a little bit of oil in a frying pan, slice up an onion very thin as well and then just saute it for about 10 minutes or so until it's nice and soft. That's nice, that's good. So whichever way you, you do your cabbage, but just try that one if you haven't tried it before. Um, just make sure that you cut out the, um, this, like, the hard core bit because you can't eat that. But that's a cabbage, okay? So I haven't tried red cabbages, so I may well try those next year, but this is the first year I've done these and they've been a massive success, so I'm really pleased. So I hope you found that useful and um, if you have grown cabbages, enjoy them. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.